A sampling from The Old Woman, Book 3, A Time of Change, coming soon. Chapter 1 Rose awoke, and without opening her eyes, knew she'd slept late. She could sense the sunlight on her face. It was early February, and sunrise was still close to 8 o'clock. Since the sun was up, she knew she'd slept past her usual time of waking. Without looking at her bedside clock, Rose tried to guess the time. Eight? She opened her eyes and peeked. It was twelve after. Rose looked down at Dolly, her cat, still sleeping by her side, then looked out the window. The sun was shining brightly but gave little warmth. The snow sparkled as if fairies had come in the night and generously sprinkled diamonds across the white blanket. Though she sensed the sunlight through her eyelids, she felt no heat on her face or body. The sun's angle was still too low. Her house was warm, but she pulled the covers up to her chin and lay there. She felt little energy and decided to stay in bed a while longer, until Dolly got up and started asking her for her morning meal. Why am I so tired, Rose wondered. Maybe it's the cold. The holidays were long over. Rose hadn't been very active. She was stuck inside due to the frigid temperatures and deep snow. She'd found herself watching television more often. She still knitted and read, but was prone to dozing off. She'd never been one to take naps. Tommy, her husband, had enjoyed naps, but never her. She stayed busy with chores and projects. Now naps were common, but Rose realized she was no longer a young woman. Her energy had waned. She thought about what she might do with her day. She hadn't come to any conclusion when Dolly stood and stretched and rubbed her head against Rose's hand, then face, and stared at her. Okay, Dolly, I get the hint. Let's get up and feed you. Rose began to rise from the comfort of her bed, her body feeling stiff and unsteady. Dolly, seeing her movement, ran to the kitchen. Thank goodness for Dolly. She's my motivation. Rose took her time getting her warm fleece robe and slippers on, then joined the cat in the kitchen where she was waiting patiently by her bowl. Rose first turned the burner on under her kettle, then spooned Dolly's food into her bowl. While the cat ate heartily, Rose measured her special cocoa mix into a new favorite mug she'd received at Christmas. Its sides were thick, insulated well, and held in the heat. Rose sat at her kitchen table waiting for the kettle to whistle, stared out the window, and again began to wonder how she'd pass the day. It was Sunday. She might watch a church service on television. The kettle whistled, interrupting her thoughts. Steadying her arm against the counter, she poured the hot water over the cocoa powder, stirred it in well, and topped it off with a marshmallow. Taking care not to stumble and spill her hot drink, Rose made her way back to the living room with the cat trailing behind her. She set her cup on the end table, then settled herself comfortably into her chair and reached for the remote. Stay tuned for the release of The Old Woman. Thank you for listening.